the cat already has to explore it. Uh oh, now he's gonna lay on top of it. What are you doing up there? I wanna film a video, come on. Get out of my way. That's not a cat lounger. Not a cat lounger. That's not a cat lounger. Come on. So I bought this plastic tub like a week or two ago because I want to use it for my recycles. I got it at Lowe's. And I realized it's almost a perfect fit for this feeding machine. So I basically took a box cutter and just cut out uh, a hole on this side of it and it pretty much perfectly fits this machine. Um, I need to put the bowl in because I know if I put the bowl in, the raccoons are going to take that bowl. Uh, but I did put the hoop in. Now I'm thinking maybe I should take the hoop out. I don't want the raccoons to walk away with the hoop. Okay, I just took the hoop out. So there's a little bit of an overhang on here. So here's what I have in the plastic tub. I have the feeding machine, and then I have a really heavy bag of rock salt. I don't know how many pounds that is. It's 40 pounds. I have 40 pounds of rock salt. I don't think raccoons are gonna be able to move this. It's 40 pounds. I mean, I could barely move it. So I just put the cover on and Ideally, I'd like to get a strap that straps the cover on. I don't have that right now, so I'm just gonna use duct tape. Okay, so there's duct tape on both sides, I'm hoping um, that'll keep it shut. Now, to protect the unit from rain, just in case there's any, I'm gonna put this table in front of it, or on top of it, or over it. So this is what it looks like. There's the feeder and the plastic container. Then I have this table over it. It's set to dispense food at 7 a.m. It's only going to do a cup of dry food just to test this out. I'm just curious as to um, what happens overnight. Uh, if the raccoons uh, knock the table over, um, what the skunks or the possums are going to do. I'm going to leave a little bit of dry food on the ground underneath this. Maybe I'll figure out some kind of tray or something. Okay, so I MacGyvered up like this little plastic tray down there. Um, it's like a flower pot saucer thing, and I put some food down there just to uh, attract some critters, just in case, just to see how this holds up. So I just took the other cat table, and I put that in front of it. So we have this one foot tall, two foot square cat table with their uh, party platter underneath it. They usually eat under this table, and I have that butted up against this other table and this one is also a two foot square I don't know how tall it is I think it's a little over two feet tall and I have that butted up against um, the feeder tub and the feeder tub is against the garage so that's what it looks like junkyardy but let's see if it serves its purpose